Hi Satnam, I'm Annie from the Yogic Revolution, your channel that is going to help you to transform emotional eating into yogic eating for more productivity, creativity, intuition and joy. And today I'm going to teach you this Kundalini Yoga Kriya to activate the frontal lobe, lobe of the brain that's going to help you to eliminate, to decrease the anxiety and cravings that keep knocking on your door. To activate the frontal lobe of the brain means that we are bringing balance to the area of our brain that is responsible for our social engagement, for emotional control, and most importantly, for the control of our impulses. So let's bring the palms of the hand together, place them in your heart center, take a deep inhale in. And exhale. For a moment, just feel the power of your stillness. Bring alignment to your spine. Apply the neck lock. We're going to open our practice with the Adi Mantra. Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. Chanting it three times. Inhale. Exhale and inhale to chant. Om Namo 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 Guru Dev Namo means I bow to the creative energy life force and I also bow to the teacher that lives within myself. So let's start our practice. Even if you've never done Kundalini Yoga before, this is a great chance for you to have your first experience with Kundalini Yoga. No, do not worry of about you know complicated stuff. I just encourage you to practice this with if when possible with your eyes closed so you can increase your the deepness you know of your practice and really make this a made meditation in motion that's what we want to reach here so keep your concentration your focus on your breath inner posture and let's start so let's start sitting in easy pose place your hand on your knees Flex the spine forward and push the lower jaw out, pushing the teeth out as the head goes up. And then flex the spine backwards and open the mouth. So we're going to flex your entire spine and breathe powerfully through the mouth. Inhale forward, exhale backward. Pushing the teeth as you go forward and open the mouth as you go backwards. We're going to continue this exercise for three minutes. Powerful breath through the mouth. Concentration, bringing your eyes up and in towards the third eye point, your brow point, between the two eyebrows and above the nose. Concentration on your breath and the movement.
Now stop in the middle and take a deep inhale. Hold the air in, apply Mula Band. And exhale. Well done. For a moment, feel what's going on for you in your body. And move into crawl pose, which is a squatting position. With your feet flat on the floor, if this is hard for you, you can fold your mat or put a cushion underneath your heels. So your foot, your feet can be flat on the floor. Place your knees apart, put your hands on the waist, and I'm gonna inhale through the mouth as you push the lower jaw forward and stand up and then you're gonna open the mouth and exhale as you lower back yourself down in crow pose so inhale stand up with the lower jaw forward and exhale with your mouth open as you're squatting down in crow pose keep breathing powerfully through the mouth and inhale stand up hold the air and exhale well done Now lower yourself back into easy pose and just take a moment to feel what is there for you. Now bend your forearms and with your palms facing to the side so we want the hand near the face level and the palms facing out and then you're gonna bring the right forearm out straightening the arm so that it's parallel to the ground and palms down and then you're gonna return to the original position and repeat with the left arm We're going to continue this movement. This is a fast movement. You're going to move alternating the arms as fast as you can. I'm going to be here for a few minutes. So concentration, full concentration on your movement. What this exercise does, it pressurizes the frontal brain at the third eye point. So keep moving and synchronize the breath with the movement. You are doing amazing. Keep going because we are almost there. Just a little bit more. 
fast movement synchronized with powerful breath that is going to be an amazing formula to heal the body to heal your mind to heal your emotional body keep pushing because we are almost there you're doing amazing job And take a deep inhale. Exhale. Well done, you made it. Now keep this keep sitting on easy pose. We're gonna bring the hands over the, over the shoulders in fists and the thumbs, they are locked inside the fist. So pressing on the mount of the little finger. So bring your hands in fists, put on the top of your shoulders and you're gonna do a four count rhythmic movement. So we bring the right arm out and up in a 60 degree angle and then return to the original position and then I'm gonna bring the left arm out and up 60 degrees and then return to the original position and then bring both arms straight up over the head and parallel to each other and return to the original position so keep this fast paced movement and you can synchronize the breath with the movement or just let your breath run naturally it's our, your option here You are doing so well. Remember to breathe. Remember that breathing is one of the most important parts in Kundalini Yoga. If you notice that your movement, your posture is getting out of shape, return. Do it in a nice aligned shape. Make sure your spine is nice and straight and keep moving. You can do that. We are almost there. Think of anything that you want to bring to your life, all the chains, that's what you're doing right now. With this movement, think all the good eating habits that you want to include in your life and the habits that you, does not serve you anymore and you want to release. Think of the power of your intentions and the power of your vision while you're doing these movements. Take the strength, your inner strength, your willpower from the movement and use it as a fuel. You can do that, my friend. We are almost there. And bring both arms up take a deep inhale hold the air in apply mula band look up and in squeeze entire body 
and relax. Well done. Now we're gonna bend the middle finger, which is the Saturn finger, bend it and lock with your thumb and gonna keep your arms stretched and straight and gonna move them up and down in a quick and fast movement. The breath will happen naturally with the, the rhythm of this motion. Make sure your elbows are straight. This exercise works on breaking up the positives that are located in our neck that block the circulation to the brain. So it also works with patients, which is a quality that we want to create, build up in this program and the quality of the Saturn fingers. So keep moving, keep breathing. You're doing an excellent job. We are almost there, keep up, fast movement and deep breath. And take a deep inhale now. Exhale. Good. Feel the sensations in your body. The sensations on your arm, on your chest, on your neck, on your head. Can you feel the prana traveling in your body? That's what you're doing for you. That's a gift to your body. And now coming to frog pose. So frog pose we squat down and we let the buttocks resting on the heels and the heels are touching each other but the only they are above the ground and only the toes are on the ground the fingertips are on the ground between the knees and the head is up that's the initial posture and you're gonna inhale and, and as we rise the buttocks high keeping the fingertips on the ground and exhale and come down to a starting posture inhale buttocks up exhale buttocks down breathe deeply and powerfully as you move and continue keep doing Inhale up and exhale down. Now take an inhale, buttock up. Exhale down and sit down. That's really good job. Sit in easy pose. And one more time, feel the experience. Now we're going to repeat the exercise, the four count exercise with the arms on fists. So bring it down to the initial position and let's start moving rhythmically with powerful breath.
keep moving. Deep inhale, both arms up. Exhale, well done. And now we have, we're gonna move into the last exercise. So come standing up. And we're gonna start, close your eyes and start to move your body in an intuitive way. So there's no right or wrong here. We're gonna move the entire body and start dancing. But in our dance, it's not a synchronized dance. We wanted to move every muscle of the entire body without moving far from the original spot so keep your spot but moving all the muscles of the body so you work on the muscles of your arms the muscles of your legs muscles even the muscles of your face the muscles of your abdomen keep moving your neck your feet toes hands fingers Flow with the rhythm, you're in the notes and the words with body language. So listen to the music and mirror them, mirror the instruments, mirror what you're listening and translate it to body expression. This is called natural dancing instinct and it gives the body a chance to release the positive toxins that we accumulate over time and also effective communication uses body language to express and to project our words as we speak so this is amazing to improve our communication as well. If we cannot express the psyche through the vibration of the body, we fail in communication and in acting. So we wanted to make sure that we have this strong ability to vibrate in the body what we want to communicate and how we want to act. So let's move the body, immerse yourself in the music.
Woo, well done. Now in stop and inhale. And exhale. Well done. Now come and lay down flat on the ground in carps pose. Relax your entire body. Let your body to relax. That is an important part of the practice as well, is to allow ourselves to relax. That can be very hard for some of us, but it is important. Do not skip this practice. I'm going to leave you now to have the amount of rest that you need, the amount of relaxation that you need. I suggest you to stay for at least 11 minutes here. So have a deep relaxation. Allow yourself to let go of any tension. And once you finish your relaxation, make sure you close your practice with a deep and long sat nam. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I see you in the next class. Bye. Satnam.